Alright guys, so just want to quickly apologise in advance, just in case these parts aren't released daily for a while, because I've just started a new job at the moment, just while I wait to hear back from PlayStation. Because obviously, at this time of release, I would have been near or already had my interview with them, so I'm working a 12 hour night job in a factory, just for the time being, until I hear back from PlayStation, so... During that time, recording and editing, Metal Gear Solid and San Andreas can prove to be a bit difficult in between the shifts, but I am trying my best, I'm going to try and release a, um, daily parts as usual, but just letting you guys know, just in case the parts don't get released daily, and some of you are wondering, where's the daily San Andreas or where's the daily Metal Gear Solid video, because there might be some days where you get a Metal Gear Solid part and no San Andreas part, and then vice versa, you get a San Andreas part and no Metal Gear Solid part, so... It's a massive inconvenience to myself, and I can imagine it's a massive inconvenience to you guys, because obviously, I don't make the clips majorly long, I make them between 20 to 30 minutes for San Andreas, and for GTA, I'd say... No, no, not for GTA. For Metal Gear Solid, a lot of the clips are 30 to 40 minutes long, so they're a bit better, you can sort of skip a day on them, but ideally, I do not want to. But anyway, GTA San Andreas from the Definitive Edition, let's get it! You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit. We got to find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Ah! Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. There you go. Pick up C's. There we go. Give me the car. Give me the car. Right, bitch. Bitch. Give me the car. Oh, Get out. Oh. No. Thank you. See the bitch. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, police car. Okay, so go pick up Caesar now. Hang on. It hasn't automatically selected a waypoint for us. Hmm. Maybe because it's a moving target. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's go. Make sure we go the right way. I hate these type of missions only because you can never tell if you're going the right way. So, hang on. Let me just have another quick look at the map. So, if I go... If I keep going down there and then on the intersection turn left, it should be okay. Should. I do not know if that's going to be alright, but we'll just go for it anyway. So what games have you guys been playing at the moment? I mean, I know in the previous part I said I was going to hold off on playing Robocop for some reviews and that, but after watching some gameplay, I really want to play it, so I did decide to order it. I am excited to play Robocop because, my god, it looks amazing. Now, apologies, because I am going to be stopping and starting looking through this map just to make sure I'm going the right way, so that will be annoying for you guys, but it's just so I can explain to yourselves that, listen, this is why I'm doing it. It's uh, going to be a pain in the arse, and really, I should have turned down there. Hang on, if I, if I go back here, it should, I should be able to turn the way I need to. Here we go. Now, let me have another look at the map. As I said, I don't want to be doing any of this, you know, looking back and forth on the map. It's just, it, it's a pain in the backside. Okay, so I need, I need to be in that lane, actually. Here we go. So yeah, Robocop. I watched a bit of gameplay for it, and I was sort of like, eh, do I want to play it? Do I? And after watching a bit more, I, I sort of watched, like, some spoiler-free things. You know, like, game ranks where they have to before you buy, and they say, oh, you know, if you like this type of game, or it plays like this, I decided to just go ahead and get it because... Oh, shit! I, I don't know why I've done that. I do not know why I've done that, but we should be able to lose the one star quickly. I am hoping we lose it quickly. Here we go. I don't know why. Why did I do that? Oh, I, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And then if I go... Hmm. So if I go straight up and then our next right, it should be okay. So we keep on seeing just random stuff on the ground there. I'm not sure if there was ever roadkill in this game. Oh, now it shows the GPS. I say now it shows us. That is not helpful. You could have stopped me from looking at the map about 1,700 times. But you know what? I I'm done. I I'm, ba I'm past it now because the map just didn't want to help me. It feels like a ages ago. For whatever reason, it feels like ages ago. Like we're in this area of the map when it was only one part ago? Yeah, one part ago. <laughs> kind, kind of strange. Here we go, here's Caesar. So we're getting Caesar's car. Okay, where are you taking this, boys? Get out of my face. Ooh, I like this. All red. Let's see how let's see how quick we can wreck it. Who we going? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. 
Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. Okay, is it going to calibrate the map? If not, I'll have to just have a look. Hang on, where is it? Oh, it's all the way down there. Are you kidding me? You know what? Let's set a waypoint and I don't think. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Oops. Right, come on. Come on. So, okay. I, I sort of wrecked this car, but... <laughs> I mean, I say sort of, but it, it's a uh, bumper's hanging off. So yeah, with uh, with Robocop, I just decided to bite the bullet and go for it because I thought, you know what? If I don't like it, I can at least try and make a fun series out of it because the gameplay, it, it does look like a typical, you know, PlayStation 2 game where you can just go through and absolutely mince everyone and just kill a load of enemies and not have to worry about your health or, you know, doing everything right. And apparently the side content is really good because... You can choose disciplinaries for when you arrest people. You can, you know, send them to jail or you can let them off with a caution. And it affects how the public perceive you. So I am looking forward to that aspect of the game to see what choices am I going to make and how is it going to affect the game. Because I know it's set between Robocop 2 and 3, but I'm not sure, you know, if there's going to be any law to it. Because it's been so long since I watched any Robocop movie. I might re-watch them just before I play this game because I think... Robocop 1 and 2 had Peter Weller in it, and Robocop 3 is when they recast him. Now, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure there's four or five Robocop movies now. I don't know if they brought Peter Weller back after Robocop 3, but I know, there, I know there was a deleted scene that sort of clarified why Peter Weller wasn't in the film anymore. They had a deleted scene. They actually they did shoot it, but I'm not sure if you can actually watch it anywhere. It uh, might have been in a director's commentary or, you know, an interview from years ago because you find that all this stuff years, years down the line. So they had a scene where Robocop was injured and he needed some facial reconstruction and that's why they hired a new actor to do um, Robocop. So, I mean, I don't know all the backstory for it, but to rehire Peter Weller, who is iconic for his voice and his face as Robocop, it seems a bit odd. Watch, I I'll probably, I'll probably blow this part and it'll be like something drastic, like he was going through like the roughest time in his life and I've just been like, yo, why are you not doing Robocop anymore? I'm going to actually look into it. Probably should have actually looked into it before recording this part, but I didn't expect that I'd be talking about Robocop for about five, ten minutes of this part. When, when you're driving on GTA and you just, or any open world game, especially Mafia and such, if the characters aren't talking, you just try and find things to talk about, and obviously, I ordered Robocop, so I thought, you know what, I'll talk about that, because I don't just want to go, Oh, hey guys, what game are you playing? If I ask that every part, which, don't get me wrong, I can ask you every part what game you're playing, just to, you know, a bit of interaction. But if that's all I say during the drive, it's just going to be like, Hey guys, what, what game are you playing? And then it's going to be... Just silence for the rest of it, which, that is not fun, for me or you. Okay, get on the roof. Here we go. Let's go, Caesar. Do 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 do. <laughs> Incognito with my. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still dressed like that. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna change his clothes. I'm. He's just gonna stay like that for the rest of the game. That's it. Here we go. Okay, photograph the face of each target, but be quick about it and be sure to zoom in. Uh, there. Hey, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say the pull into it. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's Ryder. Right, you sherm head. This business is bigger than any gang, is it? Ryder, little bitch. Now, I'm not going to repeat what he said, Suffin Head, because I don't know if there's any racial term regarding that, so I don't want, I don't want to say. Take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Oh, here we go. Who's this? He looks like a senator or something. Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. Now, how am I going to get your face? Who's this? It's a prince. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, oh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating.
That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. Really? They dropped me off here? Really? Are you kidding me? Okay, use your cameras to check out San Fierro. Who knows what you might discover? Nah, I'm okay. Uh, so it said meet us back at the garage. Do, 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 do. Okay, so his mission icon kind of threw me off at first because I was like, that just looks like a side mission. No, I could go to there or Zero's missions, but in all honesty, I do not want to do Zero's missions because I know what the entail and they absolutely suck. And I'm here for a fun time, not a horrible time. So yeah, there's that. Oh, here we go. It might take us about 5 or 10 minutes to drive all the way back there because we are in... Is this referred to as a station wagon in America? I sort of forget what you guys call specific vehicles, but you do have specific names for the style of vehicles. Well, similar to any country to be fair, but I think because America has a completely different style of cars to England, it's hard to, you know, use the terms properly, but I mean... Looking at how big American cars are compared to English cars is crazy. Now, obviously, that, that's normal for you guys. It might apply in other countries, but in England, a lot of the cars are just tiny. And I know I own a tiny car. For anyone that's wondering, I own a Suzuki Swift GLS 2002. It is absolutely tiny, and I mean absolutely tiny. If I'm in a parking space, I wonder if I've parked correctly. And I could park completely wrong and I'd still be within the lines. That's how small the car is. But when you look at American cars, they look absolutely massive, like three meters long, uh, some of them. Now, I know muscle cars, say, one of my favorite cars of all time is a Chevy Impala 67, and that is, of course, due to Supernatural. Now, if I try to drive one of them, it'd feel like I'm driving a tank, but I mean, that is my dream car. It'd probably drink a load of fuel because American cars, especially muscle cars, they are really big on the fuel, aren't they? And it's safe, you see pickup trucks. A lot of them are massive. Like, you see the height of them, and correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of them are like seven, eight foot. And it looks like you, looks like you need, you know, a boost to get up into the van now. Obviously, America's a lot bigger than England, so, you know, you're going to need bigger vehicles with a bigger fuel tank, more power. I don't know what the speed limits are on your guys' roads. You know, it, we've, just, we've just got a new... Not law, but yeah, a new law. We've just got a new law put in, like, basically, if it's not on a main road, if it's like a side road, it's 20 miles per hour. Now, it used to be 30 in a lot of roads, but now most of the roads are 20 miles an hour, and they even start to do it for main roads. Um, I mean, England is nowhere near as big as America. I think the state of Texas is bigger than England by two or three times, I want to say. Um, America just blows my mind with how massive it is. <laughs> That's what she said. But I can understand why you guys have big vehicles, but I think if one of those vehicles was in here, it would struggle. <laughs> I mean, you'd, you'd struggle to find a parking space and then say, say if my car was in America, I'd need to refill the car every so miles because it, it just wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> what are we looking at exactly? Hey, God, hey, man, you get them flicks developed. What's up, woozy? Hey, Carl. I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, Woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. And what exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. He helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gant Bridge. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Okay, go to Jizzy's club. Hmm, okay, let's get another car because, you know what, let's just go for this one because that station wagon is just, I mean, if it's not a station wagon, I apologise guys, but that's just what it looks like, I am not familiar with cars in the slightest, never mind American cars, I am awful with this type of stuff. 
Okay, so we actually have got... I don't think we're currently in a mission because it's just give us a new logo now. I'm pretty sure that is Jizzy's mission because we haven't seen that icon before. But what's strange is, say with Zero, it's got, you know, the typical white and black writing and the Z. And then, so you'd think that's a mandatory mission. Now, all of Zero's missions are optional. And then Jizzy's, you'd think that was like Rampage. You know, in GTA Vice City, where you could do a Rampage, where you, you essentially just cause the most carnage as possible within a time frame, try and survive, and you get a big cash reward. And I think sometimes you might get, you know, costume rewards and such. It looks like an optional logo. It doesn't look like a mandatory logo, because the GTA I've always known is if you are essentially doing a main mission it's always the same type of logo no matter which game you're in you know the their initial or initials in the, the white on black writing so it sort of throws you off a bit because these are mandatory missions but they look easily missable now what i do want to do straight after this game is i want to carry on with the metal gear solid series so i do want to do i do want to do oh that's a tongue twister i want to do metal gear solid 2 metal gear solid 3 Metal Gear Solid 4 isn't on the PS3 yet, but I have a feeling it is going to be released in the Master Collection, and I hope to God, because that game is stuck on the PS3. I mean, I own a PS3, but I'd quite like to play it updated. 60 FPS on the PS5, it would just play so nice. I want to do GTA 4 next. GTA 5 I could do, but so many people have covered that game recently. It's a, it's a bit crazy. Anyway, let's go. Is this a prison? It looks like an old prison, or like a porn house. I don't know, let's go. See, baby, I got everything. Mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the window. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink carpet. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. No, nah, no, nah, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. I'm offering my services. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. For a guy like me to work with... To work for a guy like Jizzy B? Well, well now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches, y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp a drink. Mm, mm, mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Now, some lunatic been fucking with my bitches. Motherfucker killed two last week. I want you to go find out. No problem. You're my player partner now, Jizzy. Mr. C to the J. See that pretty young thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a dang when you're done. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. I feel like the name Jizzy is like the least intimidating name ever, but that, that tends to be the case with, you know, powerful people. <laughs> Drop the hell off downtown. I mean. If that isn't a straight forward, I don't know what is. Oh shoot, I remember. Every head half and half with us to steal like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening. I'm no slut, but I need the failure. Uh-huh. Real interest. Whatever, Kusto. Now I'm positive you can get more than one girlfriend in this game. And that does remind me, we have not seen our girlfriend in about seven to eight parts now. So if they're, if they're about 20 to 30 minutes long, about, about four hours, oh, she's not going to be happy. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you used to be able to get a phone call from your girlfriend saying how unhappy she was, like you haven't seen her, but fuck that bitch. Okay, let's drop the hell off. Uh, there's there's got to be something else to this mission. It, it can't be this easy, surely not. Later, essay. Surely hey, not. Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Church. Got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. 
Now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. Ah, uh, there it is. There we go, there it is. Now, we should be okay. We've got full health. We've got quite a bit of ammo still. Now, I haven't bought armor in a long time, which really I should be doing because as you get further into the game, the missions too, do tend to get more difficult. So I'm probably playing a bit of a risk here doing any missions without armor. So I think what I'll do is at the end of this part and before the start of the next part, I'll go out and buy some armor because I don't want... I don't want to risk fail the mission because that is not the smoothest thing to do when someone has waited a day to watch your, your video. It, it's not ideal, is it? But anyway, surprise, bitch! Oh, that's gonna leave us mine! Surprise, motherfucker! So, <laughs> I know I've been referencing surprise, motherfucker, a lot. This is my play, and now you're in real trouble. This is my track, sucker! Here we go. Just drive by no point and get out of the car. Here you go, bitch! Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. Of course, of course. So, as I was saying just before that phone call occurred, I know I've been saying surprise, motherfucker. Oh, no, that was a bit poo that. Let me try it again. <clears throat> surprise, motherfucker. No, I can't do it properly this time. I'm on the spot. I can't do it properly. Sorry, guys. I failed you. So, I've been referencing that a lot, which, of course, as most of you guys know, is off Dexter and it's Sergeant Dokes. Now, I've never watched Dexter before properly, so me and Rebecca have decided to start watching Dexter. And oh my god, we're only in the first season, so if anyone spoils it for us, I will hunt you down. And I will lay a turd on your pillow. Right, here we go, take out both the punters. Here we go. Uh, let's go for the micro SMG, just so we don't hit the bitches. Oh! Okay, take out both the punters, now is she coming to us? No. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, you get your own back. Go on, Gail. Come on. Look at them jugs. Mama, mommy milkers, calcium cannons. You gonna answer the phone? Is he gonna answer the phone? Huh? You gonna answer it? Oh, it's in the car. Strange. Mr. Jizzy, it's CJ. Use the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take her off the streets. Nobody turns my hoe. You get your ass back to the hotel and you make an example out of all of them. Oh, really? So yeah, I've just started watching Dexter. I'm only in the first season, I think, the last episode I watched... Oh, shit! I think the last episode I watched was... I'm trying to think. So, I found out Tushi was not the killer. I mean, it was a bit obvious. He's... He's had his... Uh, what is it? He's had his prosthetics given to him by the doctor. I'm trying to think of what else happened. Um, Dexter refused to obviously kill Tushi. Oh, something, something happened. Oh, the... the um, they jailed Sam Witwer's character because he owned up to being the ice truck killer. And obviously, when Dexter and him meet in the interrogation room, he's like, who the fuck are you? So Dexter knows he's not the ice truck killer because obviously the ice truck killer, for anyone that's watched it, is obsessed with Dexter. And the sort of having like a back and forth, you know, the ice truck killer is breaking into Dexter's house, leaving him clues, putting him in situations to see if he can get out of them because obviously Dexter's a trained killer. His dad was on the police force, he knows how to evade, how to lie to the police. He works on the police force as a forensic specialist. It, 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 is a, it is a good show so far, I am enjoying it thoroughly. And plus Sam Whitway is amazing. The Lord sent me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments, so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. Driver, get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches this poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. <laughs> That's how people in England thought. Take out the preacher and his protection. Okay, here we go. This should be pretty easy. Oh, shit. Maybe not. How's that just... Man. 
get back in the poke mobile. Well, I failed the mission now. I fail it, so let me reach. Oh, let me reach either checkpoint. I'm hoping it does make us restart the whole mission because that would be a pain in the backside if it does. Here we go. Nope, okay, so we don't have to restart it. I was saying that I didn't want to fail the mission, and obviously I did fail it, but I have got an idea of what to do. So if I'm supposed to take them out, I'm going to try something. It could backfire immediately and go very, very wrong. Now, I believe we've still got rocket launcher ammo, so I'm going to try and just shoot the vehicles right away. I'm not sure if it will affect the girl in the car. I, I, I mean, I, I think it probably will. You know what? Actually, oh, shit. I'll blow up the main car. Well, not the main car. I'll blow up the bodyguard's car, and then I will shoot the normal car. Let's put the, the Pope in it. That's what I'll do, because then that way, there's... You might get out the car. The hoe is still going to be alive. That sounds like the smartest option to do. You, you sort of... Even when trying to think outside the box in these missions, it can mess you up sometimes because you're like, hmm, you know, should I have done that? Shouldn't have I done that? It happened a lot in GTA 3 when I used to use a sniper rifle and try and snipe people on a boat from far away. And I fail a mission because you actually need to chase them. Right, let's skip this. And let's uh, drive a bit closer to him. There we go. Come on, get out. There we go. There we go. Yeah, boy. Okay, get back in the pit mobile. Take out the preacher and his protection. Now, where's he gone? Oh, okay. So I should have maybe took out his vehicle. There we go. The devil comes to claim his own Godspeed driver. Godspeed. We need more than just the Lord's benefaction. Don't worry, girl. The Lord's army will come to our aid. Welcome to hell, motherfucker. Let's go, bitch. Now just keep on dressing. That's right. Oh, this car is fast. Where you going, boy? Come on. This one with limos this fast? <laughs> there's there's got to be a scripted sequence, surely, because this has taken a while to get to him, and he is fast. There we go. Hey! Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, CJ, you used to play his right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. No respect for the black and bitter. What's this do? Right, normally I. <laughs> normally I would stop a mission there, but. From where we are, we have got the police on us, so I need to escape them. It is a bit of a pain. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. So I'm not sure if the police will get us by the time I start this new mission. Oh, I do need body armor, don't I? Damn it! That's what I forgot to get. But anyway, I'll end up part here because I've got two stars, and I do ideally need to get away from those police, so see ya!